Welcome back to the Derek Huffman Project. I don't know if you noticed the name change there. Uh, the the Derek Huffman Project, as yeah. opposed to Derek Huffman's Project. Uh -huh. I know you. I know you told me once that you preferred the Derek Huffman Project uh -huh. so to Derek Huffman's Project. Which one do you like better? The Derek Huffman Project. There's less S's. The yeah. Derek Huffman's Project. What was it? The the uh, Derek Huffman's Project. Derek Huffman. Or the so Derek Huffman Project. The Derek Huffman Project. Cleaner. It's much mm. cleaner. Yeah. All right. So that's the that's the name. That's what we're going by. Uh, do you think we should lower the camera at all? Or that's about good. That looks about good. Uh, Matt. Yeah, like Matt's Matt's uh, yeah. just in there. So. Uh, we got Andrew to my right. We got to my brother right. Matt to my further right. Yep. And of course, myself, Derek Huffman. We're rock and rolling here. We got my green tea in hand. And the mission today is regret on Halo 2. I got some green tea also. Matt's got the green tea queued up. We're playing on Heroic this time. We're actually gonna, we have some things to address, some changes to the format here. Yeah. So, up until this point, and I, we've been playing in a way where we set this really incredibly difficult rule for ourselves where we can't die, and if we die, we restart the whole mission. We're not doing it that way anymore. Now we're playing in a different way. We're going to, we realized the issue with that approach was we were losing so much content. We were losing so many takes. Yeah. And we found that, you know, this just isn't practical or realistic. Mm. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to do it all in one take. And we're allowed to die. Only issue, the only issue with dying is we're going to be tallying our deaths right here on this green sheet of paper. I'm going to make a chart. I'm going to put a line down the middle. One side's going to be D. One side's going to be A. I'm going to be the D side. Andrew will be the A side. And we will put tally checks all throughout the mission as we die. We're going to keep a log of them. And by the end of the mission, we'll see who has the most deaths. The person with the most deaths takes a loss for that episode or that mission. Yeah. Well, and, well it's not mission-based. It's like throughout the entire Halo 2, right? Do, or do you want to do mission-based? Do you want to do a mission-based? Like, okay, it's tally, tally, tally. tally. And then the episode, the whole episode is a loss, or do you want to do all the tallies combined to see who has the higher tallies? It's harder to keep track of. Yeah, it, 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 it is, but... What sounds better? Maybe mission-based? Mission-based is less uh, complicated, it's, less it's, math. It's more content, I guess. But, uh, or, like, you guys are fight one round, then whoever whoever gets the the less whoever dies the least wins wins one round wins for the whole episode yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole mission yeah or as opposed to it being like by the end of the series four thousand deaths <laughs> four thousand two hundred and twenty five yeah, yeah, deaths yeah. for Andrew yeah, yeah. four thousand two hundred and thirty two deaths for Derek plus we're starting halfway through <laughs> it's, like, too. it's yeah yeah it's it's like, we're it's, already halfway through the game so. We'll do it. We'll do it that way. We'll do it by epi by episode yeah. to episode. The whole episode will count as a loss. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. So that would mean one, two, three, four. Should we still still skip the flood missions? Yeah, I think so. All right, we're, we're still. I, I don't know. I, maybe we'll do that off camera to see how fun they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for right now, let's just do the. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. So that's that's the base of it. Uh, that's going to be a lot better. We're not going to lose any content that way. We hope you enjoy. Um, any any uh, anything new since our last upload? I think anything new we can kind of hit on the uh, playing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think maybe get to it. All right. Uh, let's do this thing. Okay. So just to recap. At the end of this, there will be a winner. Mm -hmm. The loser has to do, a, like, oh, no. a punishment. Oh no! no. Okay. That like, this? by the end of the game, by the end of Halo Two, whoever has the most losses is right. going to be punished in some okay. way. Okay. So it's it's like this. One of us will have one win today. 
Yeah. And then one of us will have one loss today. <laughs> really, it's whoever has the highest losses is the yeah. loser. Yeah. So you you wanna you wanna have a zero if you can, but that's yeah, obviously yeah. not gonna happen. Okay. Yeah, that's a better format than keeping tally of the deaths. Too or, much. You guys. Whoever stands, like, whoever finds a spot where they just hide, <laughs> you know? <laughs> that would certainly make the content longer, but less eventful. Less exciting. Yeah. Less exciting. <laughs> less exciting. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> excuse, um, excuse. So, first things first, this is on Heroic. Um, oh, shit. I do have a physical injury that will affect gameplay to some degree. Oh, no. Yeah. But it shouldn't be too bad. It's a, oh, little, yeah, a yeah. little cut on my f index finger. What are we working with there? Is it a, uh, a recent injury or is it kind of like a healing injury? Yeah, it, happened, it happened on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday, pretty deep slice. Uh. And I'm, I'll be alright, because now that I'm playing, I can use a part of my index finger that's not where the cut is to okay. hit the trigger. And you, I should and be you, pretty good. Take, take advantage of this. <laughs> <laughs> So what, uh, you want to tell that story? How did that happen? You, you don't usually get cut. You're pretty generally like a healthy guy. Uh, that's not exactly true. I, uh, I've, I got, I get cut quite a bit, but they're generally nicks. They're nothing like yeah. big gashes or anything. This is probably the deepest cut I've had in a long time. Really? Mm. Uh, the way it happened was karaoke event this past Sunday, helping my dad unload stuff. I get out of the driver's seat. Right, and I go to close the door behind me, mm. so I swing it shut. But just the way I threw my arm back, yeah, my my index finger, you know, it, it goes back in the car. So it it passes the frame as the door as the door shuts. Okay. Oh shit. So the so the door the metal part of the door closed directly on my index finger. Yeah, and it. it it, sure, it certainly left its mark. There's a, that's a pretty deep gash under there. Yeah, what were you thinking at that time? You're like, ah, oh, damn, I gotta go to the, go get like a stitch or something. Or? I was thinking, yeah, did I break the finger? Because it was instantly numb. It's still numb. Uh, I might have uh, severed a nerve. Wow. But um, and it was bleeding. I was thinking stitches. I was thinking, ow. I was thinking, uh, oh man, I'm at the very least gonna have to go get this wrapped up. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I got it. Patched up. I'm I'm good to go. Don't worry about me. It's not gonna affect my deaths. I can guarantee it. Was that before the karaoke event, or like loading before, stuff up at the end before. of the night? No, right beforehand. Oh jeez. So when I hit the dance floor, I'm out there. Yeah. The old ladies are loving me. Uh, yeah. They're really liking what I'm putting down on the floor. <laughs> uh huh. So one thing leads to another. I'm feeling good. I got two bottles of Merlot inside my system. Two bottles. <laughs> 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 two, two glasses, two glasses of Merlot, <laughs> two glasses of Merlot, uh -huh. and next thing you know, I I, I see some <laughs> some some uh, spots, some specks on the dance floor. Oh no! Yeah. I look down. I go. I think nothing of it. I get back to grooving. I take another pee, <laughs> and I I wipe my foot across it. Smear, 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 smear. We're talking blood. Oh jeez. Is it laying on the ground, Derek? It's on the it's on the floor. <laughs> uh, I cover up and I and I make it through the crowd. People are like, where are you going? I go, I'm cut, I'm cut. And uh and <laughs> He has a gun, he has a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I get to the kitchen, the chef patches me up real nice. The chef? Yeah, put some gauze around it, wow. you know, wraps it up. Was it your first instinct to go to the chef? <laughs> <laughs> How did that work? Well, I'll tell you the truth, I go to the bathroom first. Yeah, yeah. I rinse it down. I'm looking in janitor's closets. I'm looking uh -huh. in oh, faculty yeah. closets. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah. I, I open another door, I find myself in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I see the chef there, I said, hey champ. <laughs> can you help me out a bit? I'm hurting here. Yeah, yeah. He goes, I suppose I can. He breaks open a first aid kit. Yeah. Wraps me up real nice. Wow. I thank the guy. You bet your ass I gave him a tip. Did you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Maybe, why?
Mm. Well, okay, I'll call you in a, in a few hours. We'll figure that out. Bye. Nothing derails it. We get a lot of phone calls, have you noticed? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're, you're, you're a popular dude. People want to talk to you. They want to see you. That's... How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel good. I mean, it's mostly my mom and Vera, but... <laughs> Well, those are two lovely ladies. If they were calling me every two minutes, I would be quite happy about that. Your mom calls you a lot, right? <laughs> At all times of the night. Yeah, my mom calls from time to time. She knows I don't like phone calls, so she doesn't call probably as much yeah. as she would. So normally. the phone call thing really never like subsided for you? Yeah, and you know what? I, I gotta say, it's something about phone calls. They, they make me a bit anxious. Oh, really? I want off them. Hey, Derek. Derek, she calls me instead. Yeah, and I feel bad about yeah. that. One day I'm probably gonna look back and go, God, I wish I put up less of a fuss about the phone calls, you know? But it's not like an in-person thing that has you nervous. No, right? no, it's just, no, it's just phone calls yeah. that, I don't know, I get antsy, I can't wait for them to be over, but one day I'm gonna look back and go, man, I, I would kill to be on the phone uh, with my mom right now, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I gotta, I gotta cut that shit right away. <laughs> So anyway, overall, sounds like a productive night on Sunday, right? Yeah, I performed Lopper time after time. You did? I performed Modern English, I Melt With You. Oh, okay. Wow. You know, in those two songs, I got them pretty down good. You know what's hard for I Melt With You? I mean, uh, for Lopper? Yeah. Up until, like, the first half of the song is very easy. Uh, the male version. Mm hmm the male karaoke version of it on YouTube, very easy. But the second half of the song, what Cindy does is she she goes from, um, I'll be waiting, to I will be waiting. Okay. And I to do that full volume is yeah. is actually kind of a reach. Really? Yeah. I did it there fine, yeah. but I don't think that was full volume. So you're saying like you could say anybody could kind of sing under their breath and you know, but if you're really projecting, it, it becomes more technical. Yeah. yeah, I will be waiting, but I don't even know if I'm in the same uh -huh. I'm in the same key as this karaoke version. So oh, maybe that's the reason it's easier right now. I see. Uh, but either way, when I do this karaoke version, when it comes to that point in the song. I get a little nervous. Oh, sh oh shit. Sh Ooh, Andrew <laughs> takes the first death. Like, goes into the ocean, oh, and partly that's probably because of my story, because I distracted yeah, him a little on, bit. Hey, it's a, it's, a, hey, it's a strategy. It's a strategy. Come on now. Let's give him, let's give him a check mark. Okay, well, my first check mark. Oh, Andrew, Andrew's here. You can't talk to him anymore. I can't talk to him anymore. Just, I mean, it's like at school where the teacher separates the two kids that are having a good time. That's can't be good. Like, I, I want to see you be a Derek, okay? So like, I just... Dang it, you, uh, you guys have no kills, or no, 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 like, no deaths. It's a significantly easier process than Legendary. Significant. So much easier, so much easier. Heroic is the way to go. I'm having a great time. Yeah, yeah. We're both going. Uh, that first death was a freak death. It wasn't even like a, <laughs> a death that we couldn't... Like, we're getting bombarded with right. by the aliens. No, we yeah. were we were just kind of chatting the shit. And next thing you know, you took a wrong step, <laughs> and off tumble. he goes. <laughs> well, that's... Uh, we'll put a little uh, thing up on the screen, too. You'll yes. see one next to my box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one indeed. This mission does get harder, so there's going to be some parts <laughs> coming up that might actually... No, you distract me. No, I fall. <laughs> no. And so being two deaths. <laughs> the snipers are less deadly on heroic, that's for sure. Yeah, push it, push it. I mean, just say it, you know? Like, wow. Maybe we'll get creative. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, why don't you tell the, tell the folks what you were just telling Andrew? Oh, 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 oh. Well, I, I wasn't telling Andrew anything, right, Andrew? <laughs> wink, 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 <laughs> wink. Kind of pushes me off again. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I told Andrew to, like, how about you push Derek off? Like, I mean, so it's, so it's, so it's a fair game after that, you know? <laughs> like... I mean, and then, and then like it, it's a it's a strategy. It's a strategy. But we we have decided if we deliberately and 
really obviously cause the death of another yeah. person. If yeah. we, if, say if I shot you to death right now, yeah, yeah. And that, that would cost me a point. Yes, yeah. exactly. Not you. No, no, but Derek, 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 Derek. But if if Andrew pushes you off, the, like the, 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 it's yeah, a it's a strat. If he can get away with it and make it look like he didn't push me, and I'm just, I just think I fell. I guess that is a strategy. It's a, it's, it's an interesting one. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. <laughs> no, wow, the hunters are already dead. That's how easy heroic is. Are they really? Yeah. Cortana. Jeez. <laughs> No, I kind of have to take her. On ledge, we'd still be nailing into those hunters. Oh, yeah, we'd be locked. Oh, yeah. So, that night, was your dad uh, happy with how everything went to? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I think I died. That's a tie game. Wow. wow. I tried... What the? Yeah, I, I tried to make the oh. jump. I, I couldn't make the leap. Was that a uh, just a careless mistake? Uh, it, I think it teleported me further than I actually was. The jump that I just tried to make... Where are you? It just brought me there, so... Yeah, oh, okay, there you are. It, uh, it respawned me there. Alright, I'm gonna grab the carbine. It's a good weapon. Are there any more left over here? Arguably my favorite weapon in the game. I didn't see another, but feel free to look. A gondola is launching from the far towers. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting. Time after time. Did you sing anything, Matt? Yeah, I, I was. I, I sang. I sang. Uh, Coldplay. Um. I, I forget the name of it. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and like, uh, that was. It was. A, it was a little bit like iffy because I, I. I didn't plan on singing that song. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, and uh, hey Derek, Derek, would you like if if you get like a, a time off like on Friday? Like if, you, if you have no Friday, like Eric, if I have off on Friday, yeah, yeah, yeah. like would would you like to go to uh, like, uh, Chris Chris Phillips? Like, I have a feeling a karaoke scene isn't Andrew's scene. No, okay, really? Yeah, I'm not gonna probably. Ah, uh, maybe you know, get some Marlowe. You got two bottles of Marlowe. <laughs> Mar Marlowe. <laughs> what was it? Merlot. 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 So you know what? I'm gonna start calling it Marlow and see how much I can get away with it before a bartender corrects me. Awesome, Marlow. I'm actually curious though, yeah. Let's It'll both do it. That'll be our challenge on karaoke night. I like that too. Whoever gets oh, yeah. called out first for yeah. it is the loser. I know Jack fucking shit about wine, so <laughs> might as well. Like, that's probably what I've been calling it anyway. <laughs> hey, I'll have some Marlow. Cabernet Sauvernet. Cabernet Sauvign Sauvignon? Sa Sauvignon? Sauvignon? What, what is the actual thing? I don't know. Cabern Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah, I, it's like a. I've heard Mer pronounce it like kind of French accent ish. Sauvignon? Sauvignon. Sauvignon. <laughs> well, let's. We can basically say confidently that it's not Sauvignon. 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 Yeah, it's. I'll have some Cabernet Sauvignon. We can try that one too. <laughs> How many glasses are we getting before the guy, like, this guy ain't noticing, we're like four in? <laughs> like, how? Uh, I would say two, just so we don't get too fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, I, I, guess, I can't drive, so. So, is Chris Phillips? He's, uh, oh. Chris, Chris Phillips is the man, dude. He's the man. He, he's, 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 the, he, he's, 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 he's the, he was originally first, uh, the karaoke host, karaoke boss, no, karaoke, mm -hmm. karaoke manager of, uh, of the Pond Pub. Unfortunately, the Pond Pub closed because, you mm -hmm. know, some, something, something changed. Shout out to Chris Phillips, a kara uh, karaoke guy. Uh, Rhode Island. Well, I mean, yeah, it's Rhode Island, but like, he, he lives in West Warwick, but he... he, 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 he also a band, also makes m band music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, uh, what, for some reason I know his band, I don't even know how. He's like, also in a band. Oh, Twenty one pilot. Uh, Twenty one guns. Twenty one yeah, guns. He, he was. He was. He was. Not anymore. No, he's not. He, he not anymore. He's not uh, a part of that band. So um, did Twenty one guns come first or Twenty one pilots? Tw no, Twenty one. Wait, wait, they, 21 they, they must have been around a while. These guys. Yeah. How long have they been? Where they did they start? I don't. I don't know when they started. I assume Twenty one guns was yeah, before 21, 21, Twenty one pilots. And I think Twenty one guns was a Green Day song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one. Twenty-one goons. Yes. Are you still a Green Day fan? I, I do. I like them. I think they're okay. Like I'm not. Uh, I think they have a few good songs. I know they're flaming libs. 
Oh, one hundred percent. I mean, I, I yeah. Fucking an artist that's uh, besides Kanye that is openly has conservative views. I'm sure there is. Well, especially if you go into just different genres. Well, if we're talking mainstream, well, I guess yeah, the genres. You know, I'm sure there's more country singers than not who are conservative. Yeah, that's a good point. But in terms of like pop, or, which is interesting because that's not a genre I like. Country, no. no. <laughs> hey, Dan, Dan, what about uh, Craig Morgan though? Like, uh, I don't know what his views are. If he's country, he might. He, oh yeah, he's country. It's probably a pretty good chance yeah, that he's yeah, conservative. Yeah. And and he's he's uh. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't want to talk about. Yeah, a Democrat and Republican, but like, anyhow, he like he, he was on the Fox News. Yeah, like, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I mean, most likely. <laughs> uh, like, but. Well, I want to go on record saying that some of my favorite celebrities mm. are leftists. Mm. Seth MacFarlane. Yeah. Yes. Um. Um. Hey, Derek. Vin, Vince Vaughn, though. Vince Vaughn. He's Louis C.K. He's, he's, he's a Democrat. Oh shit! My Derek. favorite comedian. Tim Heidecker, another, probably my second favorite comedian. He's 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 on the left. He has left wing values. Mm -hmm. I mean, pretty you know much what? everyone. I wonder what Brian Regan is. You know, I think he leans left. I, 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 I mean, he's why, but we he's don't know. He's never voiced his political yeah, yeah, yeah. He stance. Doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he, yeah, he doesn't. I think he's done that strategically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But with the rate of how, what everyone else is, I'm just basing it solely off of that. <laughs> That's pretty good, Andrew. Well, Usually, I think when someone doesn't voice their political opinions, there's a better chance that they are conservative. There's a better chance, but I still think that a lot of the time, people there are just celebrities that are just quiet liberals too. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, there are just people that just don't want to get into it. Like the weekend, for example. Well, who knows? You know? Or mm. yeah, saying. yeah, yeah. There's certainly examples of that for sure. Mm. But hey, guys, guys, how about Vince Vaughn though? Like, Vince Vaughn is a complete Republican. Yeah. I, I love him. He's so funny. So funny. Like... Uh. But the, the point I'm trying to make is... Mm. Um, I think it's important to... N not disassociate with anyone just because they have a different yeah. stance than you. Yeah, exactly. You know? I'm, I'm more than open to having plenty of people yeah. uh, uh, that are that lean left in my life yeah and in fact I prefer because it, it would open up a nice dialogue it would be a yeah. fun conversation for me um, I think when when people go oh that guy's that guy's a uh, that guy's a right-wing uh -huh. douchebag I, I, yeah. don't, I don't talk to that guy for sure. That's very problematic yeah. in my opinion. That's the line though, right? Like when it, it starts to hurt the relationship or if somebody's so obnoxiously always over the top with it that, it, I mean, let's be honest, it's super annoying. That's the line. Yeah. If they're willing to have a conversation too. Mm. Absolutely. And especially if that conversation can remain civil. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey Derek, Derek and Andrew, like how about uh, Elaine? Uh, uh, Ellen, 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 what the heck? What's her last name? Ellen, Ellen, Ellen. The generous. Yeah, Ellen generous. Yeah, yeah. She's, 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 she's a Democrat, but she, uh, she, she has a conversation with people, you know, mm -hmm. like about like why, why you're a Republican or something like that, you know. Does she? Yeah. Well, I think she like, actually went on. She was on. She made headlines for for hanging out with uh, someone who's openly conservative, and she made the same point that I just made that. Um, you should be friends with whoever, not let politi your political uh, opinion get in the way of that. Did yeah. she really? I think wow. she said something like that, which is one of the few things that made me respect Ellen DeGeneres, because wow. there's so many reasons not to. I mean, there's all types of stories and, and even footage, video evidence of her being a bitch. Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. Especially to her workers and stuff. Really? That's Worker. Surprising. She's been rude to guess. Oh no, but yeah. just, just you see, that's that's her style, though. I mean, no. She's... Well, I think it's more than style. I think she's actually can be a rude person. I mean, we all can be, but I think she's. 
I think I think she's like consistently a rude person according to you know stories. Yeah. You know, it's like eh. anecdotal that she's a she, she's a rude person. Right. No, I've heard that too. It's pretty well documented. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I, I, <clears throat> there's even a compilation on YouTube of her being rude to her guests. Mm. Oh, like, rude to her guests? Like, oh, I found the elevator. Oh, you did. Right. So, you guys, any, did you guys get killed yet, or? All tied up, one and one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This next section, though, the, uh, I can't even fucking get there. The, um, the profit section is, uh, definitely a challenge. I'm curious to see how that's gonna go on Heroic. Oh yeah, that, that was very hard on Legendary. Now that we're in the elevator, we'll just use this opportunity to give a shout out to our celeb uh, our sponsor. Uh, Kookman's Dinosaur Fritters. Probably the best fritter I've ever had. Perfect amount of crunch. Uh, and very full of caloric value. Uh, I think somewhere upwards of 2,000 calories a box. And one box is a serving size. Mm -hmm. Delicious, delicious fritters. N -n just the perfect thing for me to slap in the microwave on my way out the door before I go off somewhere that I'm going to be out for the day. Pop down a dinosaur fritter. It's the vague shape of a dinosaur. Uh, I've made out certain dinosaurs like the Tyrannosaurus Rex or the Pterodactyl. A lot of great shapes in there, a lot of good... If you're a dinosaur enthusiast, I recommend these fritters, guys. This is what you're going to want to eat. This is what you're going to want to consume in your life. Very caloric, very high in caloric intake. Where can you find them? Uh, basically, if you're lucky, you can. They, they'll pop up here and there at different price rates. And uh, you can grab a box, and when you're lucky enough to find a box, because they are rare, make sure you grab that sucker up and bring it straight to the reg and make sure you mention to the cashier at checkout promo code DHP for Derek Huffman Project. Uh, DHP, promo code DHP. And, uh, Do you want to add anything about the fritter? They're great. Uh, I would like to add something about something different. Well, that's a different sponsor. We'll get to that next. Here, let's focus on the dinosaur fritters. Do you have anything about the fritters? You oh, well, actually, uh, I, I, I went crazy on the fritters last night. We got eight, five of them. Five of them. Like it five like fritters. A thousand, is it a thousand calories or a thousand calories or like what is it? Well, there's there's six fritters in a box, so you came up just shy of two thousand calories. You're right there though. Yeah. Could you make out any shapes? I. Oh, oh, oh like little, little shapes. Like yeah, like what kind of dinosaurs shapes? did you see last night? Oh, 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 oh. well, I, I saw a, t a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Mm -hmm. Um. I saw a, uh, uh, see, I, I'm not really the, the best, uh, no, that's fine. The name in the names, but you, but you like, saw a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like, there, I there, saw. there is a dinosaur shape in there. And like I said, for all the dinosaur enthusiasts out there, you're going to want this fritter in you. Um, we highly recommend you go out and grab a box <sighs> price, right? If you, uh, you, if you come across one, grab it up. Their limited time promo code DHP. Right. And oh, here comes the swordsman. I'll grab his sword, maybe. Um, no, we're never in close range situations. Not in this one. Yeah. Unless the profit. Oh, you kind of have to go up and just hit him, whack him. So. Uh, hey guys, guys, I, I got, I got to say. Something. Wait, did you have a? Uh, sorry, Matt. Just no, 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 did you uh, have a sword last time when they were coming up those stairways? No, maybe that might help. That's probably gonna help. All right, I'll, I'll grab it. Yeah. Sorry, didn't mean to. No, 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 no it's, Go I, ahead. I, I Matt, want, you want to do your sponsor now? No, I don't want to stop. Oh, yeah. No, but like, do you have a sponsor? It's, it's not necessarily a sponsor, but like, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's my own uh, Huffman Productions drink. Some hunters in the house. One's down. <sighs> Second is soon to be down. Oh shit. He can't come in. He's <laughs> too tall and he's dead. <laughs> That's very satisfying. Wow. Uh, uh, 
Being tall isn't always an advantage. <laughs> For all you tall guys out there, in, in, deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> so like, it was too tall, so it, was, it got stuck, and he just <laughs> shot it. Yeah, he lost the war. He lost the war. We do have the infinite ammo skull uh, queued up, so we do have that working for us. Mm -hmm. But we we're not cheap or anything. Mm -hmm. It's the way we enjoy playing. Yeah. Worrying about ammo and oh, I only have this many shots left. I have to find a new gun. All that shit just takes away from our pleasure and enjoyment. So we decided, you know what? Infinite ammo is how we're gonna play the game of Halo going forward. Yep. So, yeah. Hey guys, I just need to ask you a question. Um, like so they can see us and and the the uh, Halo game. Like they can see both. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. At least we took care of all of them. This part was a lot harder last time. There's invisibles in here. Really? Pardon me. You just gonna start. Come, uh, if, if you're watching with children, cover their eyes for this part. <laughs> My hemorrhoids have been doing better. Yeah. Yeah. Any uh, anything you've been doing different, or just? Well, yeah, I've been pushing less. Mm. When I go uh, to you know, move a stool mm -hmm. to, to make a bowel movement. I, I push less hard, mm -hmm. which has night and day made a difference. Wow. I don't feel the strain in my intestines anymore. Yeah. Um, my anus overall feels cleaner. Mm -hmm. There's less of a gooey feel back there. That's always it's good. Yeah. More of a dry anus. You want a dry anus, right? Oh yeah, it's good. Well, it's like you don't want that thing to be. You nope. don't want that thing to be gucked or gooed. It sounds like you've been making some real progress here. I've made serious hemorrhoidal progress. Uh, if there's any hemorrhoids in there, they are yeah. not making themselves known at this time. Uh, good for you. Uh, no need to go in and 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 get them operated on mm -hmm. just yet. So far, so good. As long as I stop pushing and herniating these hemorrhoids, yeah. I think I'll be just fine. Uh -huh. And I, for the time being, my um, my rectal cavity is looking quite healthy. Oh, you must be quite happy about that, huh? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Big, big news. Big news. Thank you, thank you. And you were, you were there for me you know through the I whole understand. process. I always you were there at my appointments with me. Yes, I was. Really? And uh, yeah, the gastroenterologist, yeah. you were there by my side. And every, anything I was too afraid to ask, you asked for me on my behalf. I, I had and to. I, and that's what a good friend does. Yeah. So thank you. Um, I'll step up anytime you need. And same for you. I know you do too. So Yes. Um, I even had you take a look. I had you take a look and yeah. you did that. I had you take a look before we went in to make sure, like, is this all in my head? Because I've been known to be a hypochondriac. Yeah. So I had him take a look, investigate, take a flashlight, really high-powered flashlight, and uh, you probed, you saw, you confirmed. I sure did. Yeah. And that's you need, anytime. That's that's, that's a telltale sign of a good friend's friendship. Mm. You noticed the goo that I was talking about. I noticed right? in the, yeah, yeah. In the gook. Because I, I probed. You said it, right? Yeah. You that probed. Was probing, yeah. You found. You saw. <laughs> I, I as a fr as a friend of 25 years now, mm -hmm. I can't appreciate that enough. Anytime, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it'll happen. Cheers to that. One more cheers. All right, is this the profit part now? We're coming up on profit, I think. But I do think we have to go back and over the water again. Oh, Once we get across the, we go underwater again. Yeah, uh Oh, we're in the elevator. Time for our second sponsor. Does anybody have have any key sponsors they want to mention? Um, well, I just I pretty much just have the uh, the new addition to my my. Oh, 
Your haze of the production is water addition. You have the water. The, uh, I, I have a deal with which, which it, 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 it's mayo. Like it, 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 it tastes really good. I, but anyhow, like I have a deal. I've signed a deal with Cookman's Kuk, product. Products, mm -hmm. so um, I gotta give a shout out to another Koopman product. All right. Yeah, chicken fried horsey tenders. These things mm -hmm. are good. Um, horsey tenders, just like dinosaur fritters, they have the vague shape of their name, horses. Oh, okay. So uh, if you if you're a a horse enthusiast. Go out, heads up. Oh! Go out and grab a box as I take some damage because these things are good. A little harder to come by than dinosaur fritters. Dinosaur right. fritters are the key product that's being pushed right now by the company. But Kookman's horsey tenders yeah. are the bomb. They're twice as caloric as the dinosaur <laughs> fritters. So we're talking 4,000 calories in each six tenders. Um. Very nutritious, very tasty, full of saturated fats, mm -hmm. full of nitrates, and just the meal you want to get in your system uh, if you're looking to go out for the day yeah. and enjoy an evening on the beach. Okay. Very mm -hmm. good, very good. Uh, promo code DHP2. DHP2. So uh, um, at checkout, mention that to the cashier. She will take 20% off your box of horsey tenders. So is it like vaguely similar to uh, dinosaur fritters? It's just a little more caloric? It's more caloric and they pack a big horse punch they call it uh, because oh, they are the shape of a horse. And yeah, yeah. Uh, I know the dinosaur fritters claim to fame is that they're shaped like dinosaurs which is fun. You can yeah. look for different dinosaur shapes. These are horse-like shapes, and I like to say when I pull out a smaller tender, I say this is a pony fritter, uh, no, a pony tender. That's good. Yeah, that's really <laughs> this good. is a pony tender. Okay. And I down that, and it's it's really tasty. I can't put enough emphasis on their, uh, just how tasty this is. What, uh, their uh, their slogan's escaping me. Um, the horsey. Uh, what, what's their slogan? Uh, this is a big horse punch to the gut. And I, oh man, I, I love that. It's so clever. It's so clever, and they must have put a lot of thought into these things. A lot, yes. Uh, check them out. Use my promo code down a box. You're not going to regret it, guys. This is the way to go if you're looking for a good new diet. It's the way to go, I'm telling you. It's what you're going to want to consume. Sports actually kind of didn't. Yeah, this guy's really nailing us with these needlers. I would call this guy an anti kookmans Yeah, he'll never experience Kookmans. Yeah, he's... We're gonna put him the fuck down. Did I just clear the section? Oh, here's another elite. So, I wanna just say... It's still a tie game, gents. One and one. It's not for own confidence, really. I mean, hey guys, yeah. guys, you, you know you should, should you, like, take that one off, you know? That was just a mistake, you know what I mean? Well, since we're tied, it kind of nulls each other out, so. You know what? Actually, I think it was a mistake for Andrew. Like, I, I don't know, I don't think, I think it was it's a this, mistake, though. It's the same okay. thing as zero, zero, really. If we're both tied at one, it's not like, it doesn't mean anything. It means we're a little clumsy. Yeah. But it doesn't mean much. Uh, right. So we're, we're it's it's a basically a, a no scoring game so far. As, and and to be clear, scoring in this yeah. particular challenge is a bad thing. You don't want to score cuz scoring means you died <laughs> and dying means you're not the player we're looking for. <laughs> um, this is quite different than our, our legendary attempt on the same activity. Yes. What did we have over 80 deaths? It was a uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it was crazy. We're we're closing in on a hundred deaths when we tried this on legendary. We can that take. We said, you know what? Next time we try this, we're gonna go heroic for sure. Yeah, never looked back. <sighs> so Dana, and we're gonna use this take. This take is going just fine. We're at uh, we're at minutes forty-one. 41. This is a forty-one minute long video so far. We're probably gonna make it past an hour. We're gonna break this up into, into two clips because my camera, for only for some reason, only records an hour at a time. Yeah. 
But so far, so good. Is there anything that says we can't get this done in the next 20 minutes? I don't think anything will stand in our way. Let's do it. A little silent here, a little silent here. Let's 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 fill the air with a little bit of jumping. Sing a song for the people. Ooh la di da, the stars are brightly shining, and then we sing with bellows for ages. The angels sing, the angels ring, the Buddha chants. The Buddha chants, Ai, 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 oh. Nice. <laughs> not bad. Yeah. That was not bad. Yeah, boy. That was, good. That was pretty good. I, I've been working on my... Um, my deep from the core vocals, and I think I kind of nailed it there. Yeah, you nailed it. Yeah. Matt, any input on that? Um, yeah, I, you, you were kind of kidding, but like, I mean, <laughs> like it, it's, it's, I could tell you, you saying it like out of your, uh, your, your stomach, you know, like. I dug deep for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like. Are we ready to get the ship going? Let's do it. You think your dad would have been fucking pissed if you did that the other night at karaoke? <laughs> <laughs> if I broke that out at karaoke, I think that would probably be received with like kind of confused applause. <laughs> yeah, like kind of like a slow, soft. <laughs> like really? <laughs> Look like, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I think I think they would all love you because they, they do. They, they, they oh shit! Here you. comes uh, Banshees. Oh, I'm not gonna get put on my ass today. Wait. This part was actually quite a cool on the, uh, the road. There's a bitch. Oh man, he took the hit. He ate it. You might have to be the one to uh, kill these, these bastards. Oh, he, okay, two hits and he's down. I'm gonna grab the second one. Oh, some oh. guy just fell off our ship. Did you see that? <laughs> I did. I'm looking for the second banshee now. Oh shit, got guys on jetpacks. Yep. Nice work, put him down, put him down. Again, six and significantly easier than legendary. But there's still a second Banshee out here, I don't yep, know where he's hiding. There right he is, right there he is. I think you got him? Wow, first hit. There's still probably a jetpack guy, no? I'm not seeing any. That was the last of them? Yeah, very surprising. He only sent one jetpack guy or Oh nope, there is another. Oh there he is. Down he goes, and along we move. Good work, that was probably one of the most difficult parts of when we played this on Legendary. Yes. So, I mean, the difficulty decrease from Legendary to Heroic is significant, mm -hmm. but it bodes very well for us. We don't have to do multiple takes. Yep. Uh, we don't have to be really good at the game. We're just kind of average Joes, we're not. We're just Halo guys, we're just fans. Welcome back to Halo Guys! Yes. That's how I should have started the clip. Yes. Halo Guys is the new name of this segment. Um, so we did a name change for both the segment and the channel. It's The Derek Huffman Project, and now we're Halo Guys. Yep, exactly. I thought it was nice and poppy. Halo Guys, you know? We can even get some t-shirts made. Yeah, let's do that. Halo Guys. Let's do the Halo Guys t-shirts. I like embroidered shirts, by the way. I'm, I'm sick of graphic design t-shirts, you know, the, the, the printed. Embroidery is when you have the actual like fabric patches. Is it, do, do you feel that in the chest though? Like you do, but it's gonna set us apart from the other merchandisers oh, in the yeah. sense where we have something new to offer. We have embroidery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Embroidery yeah, offers. It seems like it's higher quality. It's yeah. definitely more fashionable. And I don't think across the whole chest. I think like 
in the corner. Yeah. Halo guys. Yeah. So like Star Wars, you know? Anything Halo with sleeves, guys. any like verticals, any other design, just just like a, a good professional Halo guys. Wow. We could do Halo guys and then like a jackal's head or something. <laughs> No, no, no. What? Stay tuned for that. That's gonna be. That's gonna be big. Oh, and then on the shoulders, we can embroider the Derek Huffman Project green symbol. That'd be cool. On the shoulder. All right. Yeah, like a little patch there, like a militant patch. Yeah. I like that. So you're just all symboled up. Yeah, yeah. It's something to look forward to. Matt, would you uh, partake in this as well, like the Halo guys shirt? Whatever. You'd look good in one. Mm. Yeah. Sure. So yeah, I'm thinking just Halo guys on the chest because you don't want to over, you don't want it to look too busy. Yeah. Halo guys, green symbol, green symbol, all yes. embroidered. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Look out for that merch. Um, it will be coming. Especially, I'll make a deal with you guys. We will make merch if you guys put us on the map. Bring in the viewership. Bring in the subscriptions. We want to go big, baby. <laughs> yeah. So have you actually had like? people that, that watch this. Like, we, we have a viewer and we cherish our viewership and if if all goes according to plan, we're gonna keep growing that viewership. And uh, my deal with the viewers is if they put us on the map, yeah. we go big with the merchandising. We go big. Yeah. yeah. yeah Halo Guys is a very good poppy creative name, I like it. I agree. Uh, are we sure this isn't a totally separate mission? We have confirmed that this is... Um, this is definitely the same mission. It's still part mission. of Regret. Uh, it confused me too because of the, 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 that fake out end screen that we just came across. Right, but right. It's still part of Regret. It's just the second segment of the mission. Okay. Um, comment below uh, your favorite Halo guy. Oh, okay. You got That's Matt, right. you got Andrew, you got Derek. Who's the fan favorite Halo guy? Uh, yeah. Drop in the comments below, drop your favorite, and we'll find out once and for all who is the popular one out of the three. I have a feeling it's me, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to get too cocky. It's gotten me in trouble before. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right, this is the part that's very difficult. Very, very difficult. We were muted the whole time, right? I think we were. Oh, yeah, because I muted it when when I um, uh, did some of the TV. Yeah, the TV. Yeah, yeah, it's the been time. muted the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, how are we doing on screen recording? Did we stop? We're we still good. Actually, Dominic. Dominic's call is why I muted the TV. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Dominic Batez. Uh, Dominic Batez is one of the crew members here at the Derek Huffman Project. Ten minutes until we have to restart the uh, the recording. Let's see what we can do. Let's see. Imagine if we can nail it within the hour. Shit. Oh shit. Oh, no. Ooh, he was so close to slaughtering I know. you. I know. That, that was last, crazy. The last stick was really my uh, my saving grace. That was crazy. There's a sword. You want the sword? Mm, I'm gonna stick with the battle rifle. Just because you're gonna be the close range guy, I'm gonna be the longer range guy. Because I have a rocket launcher, I don't know what to give up. Should I, should I have a sword? I think rocket launcher might be better because I, I can I stand at better. a distance. Yeah, I think rocket launcher is probably better. Alright, what is our strategy? What, what was working for us last time? Was it me standing here? Oh shit, that's right, the prophet. You standing so there, you standing out. there. Oh, oh, watch out! Oh, oh shit! Got him for nice, you! Nice, nice, nice. I just, I just saved your cans. I was gonna just come out here and hop the grenade. I, s I saved your greasy Italian skin. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Derek, like, when you used to play for, like, just, uh, like, if one person gets killed, then you had to restart the whole mission, like, that's how we used to play yeah, it. Yeah, I know, I know. But like, were we playing on major? What was it? We're playing on legendary. Oh, like the most legendary. difficult difficulty. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So. And uh, it was wild. We, we don't. We had our heads in the clouds or something. We, we bit off more than we could chew because it was ridiculously hard. Yeah. We had to keep restarting, restarting, restarting. New take, new take after take. We were losing all types of funny content, and yeah. it just wasn't working. Mm. It was a fun concept if we were a lot better at this game. Also, there's a guy who uploaded an entire all of Halo 2 zero deaths. He did it solo, so it probably was a little easier than what we were doing. It's still but he didn't do infinite ammo. He was doing it on yeah. no skulls. It's very impressive. So that guy is talented. I was watching his content. Uh, I'll, I'll drop him in the description, but go watch him if you want no deaths. Yeah. We're not the guys for that. Uh, we found that our skill level's not quite conducive for that. <laughs> But uh, for us, you watch us because we're fun guys. Like that's that's why you tune in for us, and we know it. Um, at what point do you think we should start going beating the fuck out of that guy? I think I can do it now. Uh, is there another wave? There's a red dot in the corner over here. It's just a grunt. All right, let me go beat his ass. <laughs> Two, three. Uh, there are some four, uh, guys coming out. I five. Okay. I took cover. We might be able to do this within the hour, folks. Let me go beat this ass. <laughs> That's the prophet. That's who they worship. Yeah. And I'm punching him in the face to lip <laughs> repeat <it> repeatedly. <laughs> Such disrespect. <laughs> That'd be like if I jumped up on the Pope's chair and started. <laughs> I have the screen on mute right now, so I can't hear it. But if I remember correctly, it sounds like, you know. <laughs> but the, his flesh sounds like meat. Like meat, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like not a lot of bones in there. Just very stiff meat. <laughs> or floppy meat. <laughs> Either way, it like caves in when you punch it. Yeah, it's. <laughs> his, his, his head has a lot of give. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of sounds fun to punch, doesn't it? Yeah. I would give that a guy a punch. Yeah, you know, like when you. <laughs> What's an example? Like when you. Uh, when you, uh, punch a pillow, <laughs> yeah. you know, pillow kind of, yeah. it, um, shit, retracts in as you punch it. Yeah. That's what his whole head does. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is, this is, uh, Alright, should I go jump on his ass? Uh, there's still some grunts on the floor. Here, put him so in the, that. Is it like Let me the, see if uh, I can get up on him. Okay, there, the leader. Uh, this is the leader. The, this guy right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is their prophet. That's. I think we just won. Wow. We did it within the hour. Very we did it within the hour. Halo guys. There we go. Is that the end? Are we sure there's nothing more? That's it. You know what we do. We get things done here at Der the Derek Huffman Project. Halo guys. Matt in the corner. Andrew to my right, and your host, Derek Huffman, the one keeping things going. Oh, your, your true favorite Halo guy. <laughs> Drop it in the comment section, you know what a time it does. Join us for our next mission, which is called Guilt or something. Or maybe we just did Guilt before this. No, we haven't done Guilt yet. I don't know. Whatever our next mission is, meet us there. Anything you guys want to add before we sign off? Good to go. No, we did it within the hour. What time we got? 56. Just four minutes shy of an hour. Hey, we keep things fun here, don't we? We hope you enjoyed the whole time. If you made it the whole video, drop a subscribe. Drop a like. We appreciate you more than you could ever realize. Stay busy. Nice.